so hello my name is sandeep mandal and uh, today we will be discussing about analysis of fan uh, here we are, we are discussing about axial fans how to do a cfd analysis on that we are discussing in stages so our first stage of discussion is hand calculation to design any fan any axial fan we have to do hand calculation first depending upon our cfm requirement and where we are going to place this fan in actual condition so there are different types of design calculation available uh, but in axial fan you have to refer some research paper and combine in my case i have refer i had refer different types of research paper uh, called from sai or some other ijscrt and other publication and i obtained some relation for that and i calculated some uh, relative information or depending upon our cfm requirement and air velocity requirement the calculated parameters are air stream at outlet torque air horse power static pressure and total total pressure obtained from axial fan number of fan and caudal width of a blade so these are the parameters are useful for calculating and for analyzing the axial fans these parameters are also used as a input parameter in ansys or any fea software so depending upon this calculation i have made some designs so this is the basic design of axial fan i have made it is totally as per our, as per my design in calculation and cfm requirement so this is hub this is, these are the blades number of blades i have calculated and this is the trailing edge of fan this is the leading edge of fan so in trailing edge there are chances of most of the turbulence here here you can see, here you see the aerodynamic shape to select this shape you have to do a design calculation here my design calculation is specifying me as selection of subsonic aerodynamic structure also you have to calculate different parameters about designing a fan that is blade caudal angle this angle this angle slitting angle and blade thickness maximum thickness and minimum thickness here minimum thickness is zero because it is a straight curve path following here and i have done different iteration and design different uh, by changing the caudal angle and thickness and aerodynamic shape i have designed different types of aerodynamic structure of fan so that our analysis should be perfect and that this is the second type i had made here you can see the tilting angle from first region to second region it is low pitch angle following towards out, out, outward radial so by making this analysis i have to suggest which which fan is suitable which fan is uh, satisfying our requirement more precisely there are some other, uh, i have had an eight iterations but i have shown you only two so these are the fan now for designing a fan the noise is a very most uh, noise is very important characteristics to be considered so noise is directly relating with the turbulence which a fan is creating while rotating in an, in an anti clockwise direction when it is connected to a hub uh, motor so the turbulence is maximum turbulence is maximum created at the trailing edge so i have made this very sharp 
so that the air which is flowing through aerodynamic shape is get uh, get evolved and get uh, get through this get through this uh, trailing edge and does not forming any turbulence here circular way eddy 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 formation are less in this type of aerodynamic shape in second model there is also eddy formation is less so turbulence creation is basic phenomena in fan if we reduce the turbulence by changing our geometry by changing our pitch angle or chordal angle or by changing the chordal thickness of aerodynamic shape so that is beneficial but make sure that cfm requirement is constant if if you are changing this angle the cfm requirement is cfm you required is also changing comparatively so here i am doing analysis on fluid flow fluent first of all we have to import a geometry in design modular so i am importing a geometry Make sh make sure that your geometry is in step format, so the geometry is successfully uploaded. Here we have to create a enclosure first, in which we have to uh, we have to create a fluid fluid domain, where we have to include a fluid, and that is exposing our fan, and vice versa. So cylinder. Here my axial axis is Z axis. Let it be. So here it is a fluid domain, but uh, which section? Make it a uniform fluid domain in length. So this is our fluid domain. Now here two things. Here, here are two things. There are two main methods of uh, analyzing this fan. That is, first we have to en enclose, we have to create a boolean on this enclosure, and we have to subtract this geometry, braid geometry here, and uh, create. Then we have to fix this fan and rotate it. At a desired RPM, so that we get required R, uh, required CFM at the outlet outlet side of this domain. Second method is fix this fan here and apply apply a inlet velocity or mass flow rate in kg per second or meter per second, where uh, the the uh, air we can get from the air we can get simultaneously from rotating. We have to apply only that air. In the terms of mass flow rate or meter per second from inlet 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 domain, and it is coming out from outlet domain. So, when the air velocity is coming from here, it is get struck by this blade, and we get drag force, lift force, total pressure, static static pressure, and turbulence level from trailing edge. So, by analyzing this result for different geometry. We can conclude that which blade is giving better performance. So I have uh, I generally uh, I created some results for this fan that I show I show you I'll show you. So this is the result I obtained from analysis files. First of all, there is two thing during analysis. You have to select a laminar flow and k epsilon value for and standard initialization process in the analysis fluid domain. When you do analysis in this in this formula, in setup file, you have to select laminar flow in CFD post and k epsilon value. And if your laptop is of low RAM, approximate 4 GB or 8 GB, 
the set up a iteration value up to 20 because it take uh, 7 to 8 hours to calculate this this kind of stuff if you take a uh, iteration up to 100 uh, you have to it take very large computational time that's why I'm not showing you the calculation procedure I'm showing you direct result this is the static pressure I obtained see from here our inlet domain is on the back side and outlet domain is in the front side the air it coming at 33 meter per second which I have calculated in my hand calculation this is the blade and this is trailing edge so you can see that the trailing edge having less pressure approximate 3.54 is to plus 2 because this uh, blockage of this blade when the air is entering from inlet domain the blockage is provided by this trailing edge but the more blockage is provided by trailing edge because it is in outward radially with the pitch angle of 40 degree this is the total pressure which I have obtained it is maximum it is giving you maximum and minimum value it is a surface solid zone, solid zone which we ha I have selected you can see the air velocity is diverting with the blade the same phenomena we are getting if we fix if we rotating this blade and rotating this blade at particular rpm for the generated CFM at that time the red portion is in back side and this bluish and uh, greenish and yellow portion is uh, back side so this is the total pressure now the actual velocity you can see that all overall fluid domain is filled with the air and actual velocity is maximum up to 106.4.0 meter per second what does this mean we have given a air velocity is 33 meter per second when it is uh, obstructed by blade velo blade at 40 degree pitch angle the velocity of air will be increasing so vice versa when we are rotating a fan in actual phenomena we are getting a out, outside or outlet velocity is 106.0485 meter per second here the radial velocity is 66.043 it is a outraged velocity which is diverging at the hub turbulent kinetic energy so this is the this is showing turbulent energy in meter square per second square the lower the value of this turbulence depending upon the other iteration we can select the noise level lower the value of turbulence kinetic energy lower the noise level of fan turbulence intensity it is showing 40 percent turbulent dissipation rate here it is considering epsilon value so that the analysis will be diverging from the kinetic turbulent energy okay this is turbulent kinetic energy of fan domain here only fan is showing that the air molecules are flowing through the fan and lower portion of lower portion of air will be struck by leading and trailing edge similarly here now the mass flow rate we have calculated is 43 in ideal calculation but the fan uh, in analysis we have obtained is 52 this variation is considerable here because 10 meter 10 kg per second is considerable here because it is calculating all the calculated within all fluid domain and we are calculating only in z direction this is static pressure value this is total pressure turbulent dissipation rate turbulence intensity it is coming out to 40% you can see here the blade domain is highlighted here so so you can see here 
uh, I have iterated all I have analyzed all the geometry I have created and depending upon that I have created one actual sheet so that comparison comparison for the bleed analysis should be easy for me so this is static pressure total pressure axial velocity turbulence intensity drag and lift force on the fan and mass flow rate so you can see it is approximately same on 3 it is 40 degree pitch angle 35 degree pitch angle and 30 degree pitch angle as you goes on decreasing the pitch angle here you see a turbulent turbulent intensity percentage is increasing and turbulence also increasing so our conclusion is that the turbulence we have to create a lower turbulence so 40 degree pitch angle is optimum ratio for that uh, so that our noise level should be reduced for 40 degree turbulence angle but for different types of fan the fan we are using on drones that will produce a bigger effect that will produce a bigger effect uh, so there are different other fans also so in this way you can design a fan and by calculating a different parameters for different fans you can evaluate or compare results for different fan and note the one thing you have to reduce the turbulence level very very precisely if you reduce the pitch angle there should be a uh, uh, deductment in uh, CFM requirement or if you increase the pitch angle there there will be a in or if you reduce a if you increase a pitch angle then will be then then there will be an increment in noise after 40 I'm saying after 40 so that's all about fan, anal fan analysis.